Yes. Um, Mr. Nader, in a, in a recent article in Mother Jones, a, uh, a prominent uh, international terrorist analysis um, claims that Al-Qaeda is um, at, w at best, uh, at worst, a uh, secondary peripheral threat to the domestic security of the United States. Um, what do you think about the uh, speech a few nights ago when Obama um, told the American people that we need 30,000 more troops for our uh, national security? Well, it's, it's very forcefully delivered, but and it's very disappointing, you know, diminish a few words and a level of literacy, and it's like you're listening to George W. Bush. Uh, he once again exaggerated Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, by uh, the intelligence uh, of the Bush administration, you know how many Al-Qaeda are in Afghanistan? About 100. This is a criminal gang that we wildly exaggerated. They had one strike they got away with, and went down with it on 9-11, but they wildly exaggerate because how do you keep a military industrial complex machine operating with a $600 billion Pentagon budget? You gotta find new enemies, and if they present themselves as they did on 9-11, well, why wildly exaggerate, invade a country that didn't have any Al-Qaeda, create more resentment, create a local Al-Qaeda in Iraq, which operated, uh, and they're off to the <laughs> Pentagon contracting races again, Blackwater and Halliburton, Lockheed and, and uh, Boeing and Northrop, you name it. It's business. Uh, why did we go in Iraq? The major advisors to the first President Bush, Brent Scotcroft, Jim Baker, hundreds of ex-generals, admirals, diplomats, uh, national security leaders, and uh, under both administrations spoke out against the Iraq war before it started, and uh, they were marginalized by the media and ignored. And they were right, though. What they were warning was right. So we have to watch out about exaggerating. It's like this uh, military complex that Obama is afraid to take on, and it's very powerful. He doesn't have to take it on full blast, but he's, he's, gotta, he's gotta start diminishing its huge grip and bite on our budgets and our foreign policy, uh, we're looking for another enemy. Aha, it's Iran. Iran is the enemy, which has a GDP the size of Connecticut, 75 million people, most of them poor, heavy internal divisions, uh, run by a leadership that um, is scared out of its wits. It's surrounded from the west, south, and east by the US military. It's surrounded by uh, local countries that could obliterate it, like Israel with 250 nuclear weapons. And it was invaded with the support of the United States by Saddam Hussein when he was our anti-communist ally. Uh, it took 500,000 Iraq Iranian lives. And we overthrew their prime minister in 1953, who was a very popular one, and replaced him with 27-year dictatorship of the Shah. And we wonder why they're afraid. They've already been labeled by Bush as the axis of evil, along with Iraq and North Korea. Iraq was then invaded. Maybe Iran thought they would be invaded. Why don't we put the shoe on the other foot and see what we would do? Would we be starting a nuclear power program? Would we want a nuclear weapon or two like North Korea has to, stay, to say to the United States or to Israel, don't try it? I mean, where's our sense of empathy here? It doesn't have to be sympathy. You just have to be, so why are we exaggerating this threat and threatening, in so many ways, the security of Iran? They haven't invaded anyone in 250 years. They're the ones who are scared. It's this military machine of the military-industrial complex and how it's, its grip on Congress and its grip in so many areas that Eisenhower warned about in his farewell address. You see, if you just watch the Glenn Beck and listen to Rush Limbaugh and watch the late evening weather sports news, you don't really get this sort of thing. You've got to listen and watch to Democracy Now! and Amy Goodman. There's where you get the real news every morning. How many of you do that? There's where you get. You see, it's the unbelievable contrast with the commercial media. I mean, you think brainwashing is restricted to Chinese communists? 